I'm making my way to the garage and I've already been greeted by wildlife. He's nervous. That kid's is a stink bug, I think. Have a good day. I have to find my tripod mount. Hopefully it's in my Duramax. If not, then I don't know where it went. Oh yeah, there they are. So luckily we've been blessed with a couple warm days. I wanna take advantage of that, but I'd like to get this thing sealed up better than it is. Otherwise I'm gonna get all sorts of contamination inside the engine, which is no good at all. Dust and debris flies through here, believe it or not, whether there's a fan going or not. This is where the old gasket goes. As you can see, I covered it up with a couple bags. I try to prevent a lot of crap from going in there. It did pretty good. We'll just take a paper towel, clean the rest of it up. Clean that. This isn't doing anything. This was for safety measures, but it just, it continues to get in my way. So I'm gonna take it off. If it falls over, then I wanna kick myself, but hopefully we don't tip it over. See, most of it's pretty clean, but there's still a piece of the gasket right here. Just gotta scrape that off, and then remove the gasket off of there. This is a pretty easy procedure. Both sides are clean. Time to install the new gasket. Time to install the new gasket. It's been a while since I got this thing out. I forgot how to start this thing. It's way better than walking. This thing's so much fun. So much fun. It's actually running really good too. Stay. I ended up getting those bolts and I went to the post office. Had to check up on that fan mail. I got one of the new bolts on the differential. What I actually did with that bolt was go from this side, go in to this bracket, and then out. And then I put my new bolt, because the other one was missing, in, and it went in a lot better and a lot easier. I'm just putting all my hardware back where it belongs. So when it comes to reinstalling this thing, it's much easier. So now I gotta remove that bushing. Well, what's left? I know, days like this, I don't want to buy another snowmobile. It's like, we ain't going to get no snow. What happened to your jaw? My jaw? You got band-aids. Oh. So I got a doctor's appointment tomorrow. Holy oh, shit. I want to take this out the most effective way. We'll see how it goes. Worst case scenario, I grab one of my favorite tools. And then sometimes we have to get a little bit more serious. Now I just have to put my tools away and put my hardware where I can find it, you know, once I get the parts. Because if I don't put it somewhere where I will remember, then we're looking for it, wasting time. I put all the nuts and bolts under that car. They better be there when I get the parts in. Yesterday I made a little bit of a mess, as you can see. I broke up some concrete. There was just a little bit of concrete right here. I took that out, put some sacrete in here, polished a little bit of this old concrete up. So now my door should sit and fall into position a lot better. So while it's warm, I got some stuff I bought, and it should make a nice tight seal for that door. Keep the heat in once we turn the heater on. I don't wanna let my warmth go to waste. That cost me a lot of money. Yeah, man. I'll take the whole thing. This year is the most important year to me. 
Well, when it comes to the garage, because I've been doing videos every single day, winter's coming, the cold's coming, and I don't want to freeze my fingertips off when it comes to making videos. I love making videos, but if it's going to hurt my health, i got to put myself first, you guys. You guys understand. You guys ever get cut by a tape measure before? It sucks. I don't think I ever have, maybe just a small one, but Jake was horsing around one day, and he cut his thumb wide open. These things are dangerous. They're like a 12-foot knife. Getting ready to slice your fingers off. <laughs> no good. 91 inches was the measurement. I think there's like 16 feet. 16 feet. Mmm, smells good. Oh my goodness, it even comes with nails. Here I got out my nails, and they're saving me some money right there. They're nice and shiny too. Mine are black. Those are silver. Here's when a helping hand, well, comes in hand. Because now what's going to happen is I'm going to nail this in and I'm going to nail up, the door will probably fly open. Remember kids, always use your head. I like how the directions say every three inches, but yet they only gave me like 12 screws. I can already feel the savings. And I love it. Is there anybody out there that prefers nailing over screwing? There are times when I prefer screwing and then there's times I prefer nailing. I mean, there, there are a lot of times when I like to, you know, get my hammer out. <laughs> I, I don't mean, <laughs> I did not mean. <laughs> if you don't know why I'm laughing, that's a good thing. There are times when I like to get a hammer out and I do like to bang nails in because it just gives you that, that sense of like construction. Like, hey, I hit that nail in where if you screw something in, you have a screw gun that's doing all the work. I hope nobody was offended by that. <laughs> and if you were, lighten up. It looks really good. Now time for the test. Holy smokes, it actually worked. I've tried to fix this door for years. I've never been this uh, patient with it. What's up with all the wildlife? That's a crazy looking spider. That's like a stink bug mixed with a... He's not doing so hot, I guess. Well, I hope you get better, bud. Before, what had happened was this concrete was higher here, so it made all the other spots lower, which created a gap and allowed the cold air to come in. So now, once I get my air compressor hose out of there, that should fit nice and tight down there as well. One more thing done. This garage is coming together. Soon to be winterproof. Okay, don't mind my junk. Let me explain what I'm doing here. It's kind of like the same thing that I just installed. It's uh, got like a flappy thing to it. It kind of makes a seal for the door. This is when we talk about investments. I want to prevent my heat costs from going up. I want to try to keep it as low as possible. I want the garage to heat up quickly and remain heated. I want it to be very, very efficient. So buying these, these were $10 a piece. That's when, is it worth investing the money to keep the, the little bit of winter out compared to the price we paid? Now when you're doing an experiment like this, you have a lot more data, you have a lot more background. This is just, hey, we're gonna spend $10. I hope it saves more than $10. Well, actually 20 because I bought two. I hope it saves $20 worth of heat. If it doesn't, then it's a farce. If it does, then it's a deal. The only thing is, is this stuff lasts a very, very long time. I would say this lasts at least 10 years. So if it saved us $2 a year for heat, and it lasted 10 years, then we'd pay for a $20 investment. I think it's gonna save a lot more than just $2 in one year. It might, it might honestly save $20 in the first year. And if that's the case, then we made a hell of a good investment. That's how I buy everything I own. Is it a good investment? I think the only thing that I do buy that I don't think that way is food. I mean, I try to eat healthy and try to keep my body healthy, but at the same time, that fast food and those sweets taste amazing. Paying attention when doing these is key. Paying attention when you do anything is key. Sometimes I don't pay attention. You guys know. But we're gonna do it! Yeah! Well, this one wouldn't really cut you. Oh, that's 
gonna work slick. Check that out. Nice, tight seal. I'm digging it. Don't want to be losing a digit. <laughs> you drove down here? Yeah. Whose truck is that? My grandfather's. Yeah? yeah. Right. Did you crash it yet? No, not that bad. Who, who is uh, crazy enough to give you a license? <laughs> New York Dunker. State? Dunker. New York State? I like your new camera, don't you? Thank you. New York State's crazy enough to give anybody a license, I guess. Oh yeah, you do got a dog with you. What kind of dog is that? Kind of looks like Rebound, but not. Yeah, kind of looks like Rebound and then, I don't even know. A collie? Yeah. It's brother bonding time, Cole's here. He's gonna drop the old door. You guys have seen this seal. That seal's real nice. Cole just helped me install this one. And look, look at, at that. that. Supervising. That's nice. Cole, you think this is gonna save us quite a bit of money? Oh yeah, butt loads. <laughs> I think so. So I had some family time and we worked on the garage a little bit. Now I think Seth might want to hang out. I gotta call him up. If not, the vlog ends here. You little rascal.